Hello, Internet, and welcome to my Destiny Titan Lamp Launching Crota's End Solo Guide. That is a mouthful. The way this guide works is I do the lamp launch, and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. However, I do not go around the normal path as you just saw me die. I'm doing this as a level 28, and I have halfway leveled Defender. I made this character about a week ago, so that's why. I wanted to get my Crota gear as soon as possible. So the way I did this is I discovered that if I go um, to the left of spawn, run straight forward, go up this rock, loop around the left, hit just barely go away the circle, there's a rock right there. You can jump on that rock and then jump on top of that. When you're on top of that rock, the thralls will scatter. But in order to get to that first rock, you have to come at it at a very specific angle took me about 10 or 12 tries to really get it down right. So once you come in on that specific angle, you get on top of the rock really easily, thralls will scatter, and then it's just um, waiting until you, you feel that they are far enough for you to try this. You're going to jump down, trigger the lamp, and then get on the second rock for lamp launching. Now, I've tried staying by this lamp on the rocks. I've tried getting a little closer. There's rocks in front of this that you can step on. I've even tried jumping on top of the lamp to see if it would trigger. The only way I've seemed to, tr seemed to trigger the lamp is by stepping on the ground within its area. That is the only thing that will trigger this lamp. So I'm just waiting until all the thralls are safe enough a distance away, or I feel they're safe enough a distance away for me to try this because you're sitting at 10 darkness, so you're not exactly going to be quick once you hit the ground. As soon as you feel that you are safe, you're going to jump forward, as you will see, trigger the lamp. Do not stay there too long, though, because they will bum rush you and you will be killed. Once I kill this last one, I feel safe enough to give this a shot. So you're going to jump down, trigger the lamp. As soon as that's done, you're going to run to the back of this rock. There's stairs here. You can jump on them. Jump and then you're golden. You gotta get between the rocks there where those that fork crack is, stand just in front of it, and then just wait. As Soon as that lamp blows up it will launch you and you're safe for the rest of this. There's really only one thing you have to worry about which is a knight, or you could do the second lamp launch method, but I find that to be an unneeded risk. Doing the one launch gets you up here and no enemies except for the one knight, and it's just easy. The second lamp you really, I find anyway, is like getting down the first lamp's specifics was very challenging. I don't want to redo that with the second one and then, you know, have it go well and then die. This works with these, you know, doesn't require any special skill, practice, whatever. Just got to watch out for this one knight which could spawn near the lamp or far enough away from the lamp that he doesn't even notice you. Either way, he's still dumb, and you can just circle him around the lamp until you feel safe. Hell, you don't even need to wait at each lamp to get away the darkness. You can go at 10 and just cut some corners, skip some lamps, and go right to the end. When you get to the top here, you can either follow the lamp path or cut across the water and start the lamp. I always cut across the water because YOLO, right? <laughs> So as soon as you feel safe enough that you can... I mean, I don't even need to wait at that lamp. I could have just gone. I, it's just a personal thing like it. Because you never know, right? There could be danger. Now what you want to do here is you want to wait and trigger this lamp to explode. If you don't, and you get on the rock after you start the bridge, the lamp will blow you up. I've even tried uh, throwing down a Titan shield there and seeing if that would protect me, but the explosion still blows you away. You still get launched and then you land into something and die. It was not a fun time. So as soon as that blows up, trigger the bridge, jump on this rock, and you're safe from all enemies. Now, there is only one enemy you have to worry about is an ogre. It's one ogre if it's one or two people, I believe, and then two ogres if it's three or more. So just kill the one ogre or throw down a titan shield. It's really, really easy. You can even take your time killing him. And then it's just, you wait for the bridge to fill up and walk across. It's 
an awesome way to solo this if you don't have a lot of people to do it with you, or are you just like soloing and cheesing this stuff? You can end up cheesing all of Crota's end. Um, you can even do Crota legit solo at 32. And it's just really fun. The only fight people don't like in this is Death Singer because you don't get anything for that and it's a pain in the ass. I'm really shocked you didn't get anything for that. You got something for Gatekeeper, but not Death Singer. Anyway, so yeah, just listen to the awesome techno, dance along with it, you're completely safe on this rock. As soon as that bridge is built, just run across, run into the light, you're absolutely golden. If you guys want to see me do some more videos on Solo and Crota's End with the little cheesy spots, there's multiple ways to do each cheese spot. Um, I will do them, I will post a video if you want, just comment below, let me know. And if you guys like this, just like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube horror stuff. Let's see what I got from this, I don't even remember. <laughs> Isn't going into the light usually a bad thing? Oh, radiant shards, yay. Alright, like I said, see you later.